All right, today we're going to be making anode bags. Okay, you can see these bags in my tank and uh, they need to be replaced. So these are one micron anode bags. And if you look at the links below, I provided you a link to where you can get the fabric for this. Now, I am going to be upgrading to five micron anode bags uh, because the one micron anode bag is not holding in the sediment from the anode deposit, okay? So you see that strip of brown at the very bottom of the anode bag. That's caused from, like, when this gets eaten away, it leaves a sediment at the bottom of the anode bag. And if you, like, disturb the anode, like by pushing it down, you'll see a little cloud come off the anode bag. Now that cloud is filled with copper deposits and phosphorus. And what happens is you get texture. <laughs> so depending on if you don't want texture or not, but uh, the texture kind of looks like this. It's still shiny, but it's kind of bumpy too. So that's a disturbance of the anode bag. Cool. So if you ever want that texture, it just bump around your anode bag a little bit and you'll get it. Now, um, I want to cut it back just a little bit. Uh, I like the option, but what happens is I've noticed that these are leaking and they need to be changed. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to make them. They're not hard at all to make. All right, so when you order this stuff, it comes in this giant huge bag and I thought, wow, this stuff is amazingly not the same stuff that I have, but <laughs> it's actually in this bag. So, um, and then inside that bag is another bag. Now, the one micron stuff that I ordered a long time ago was not protected this well. So, the place that I got this from is definitely well worth the price I paid for it. So, that is, I think, one yard. Yes, one yard, which will last me quite some time. I think it was $22, if I remember right. 22, 23 bucks for one yard of five micron felt polyester micron, or five felt polyester, five micron filter material. Boom. All right, for this operation, I would highly suggest getting one of these. Okay, it is a cutting mat. Yes. The other thing, this, the rotary cutter. This stuff is incredibly hard to cut with scissors. You will get through it for the first two or three, and then all of a sudden you'll realize that your scissors are now completely dull. It's amazing. So this stuff, or this, tends to last the longest, rotary cutter, cutting mat so you don't dull the blade. Cuts right straight through. Good. <laughs> Always make these a little bit too wide at first.
So this is the operation you take. And what I do is I just cut it all up because the last thing you want to do is set up your shop every two seconds to cut this stuff. So I'll probably just cut all these strips. All right, now measure your tank to see what your max liquid is. In this case, I have five inches. Okay, that's at max. I'll be adding one quarter of an inch to that. So it's five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna cut every five and a quarter. And I'm gonna leave, you know, I'll leave them as strips like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut up one strip. But there's many, many, many strips that came from that. Okay, so I'm switching over to this giant piece of plastic because I'm gonna be using a hot milk glue gun and I don't want the after, the uh, excess to get stuck onto any kind of organic surface. So something plastic, something that's not organic, no wood, nothing that burns. This plastic is pretty resilient. So you're going to need a hot milk glue gun. Um, I do like this. This is goes up to 446 degrees. So don't get any on you. It's by Uline. Best glue gun ever. All right. So got a stack here. And they usually come off in pairs. And what you do, make sure this is all in shot. Yeah, all right. closer. All I'm doing is running a really thick, thick bead all the way around. And you can see that excess glue that comes off the edge. And just tap, a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. And trust me when I say that, if you get that heat gun or that glue gun, um, yeah, do not get any on you. So there we go. And you go on to the next one. Now, uh, the surface is, again, pretty resilient to glue. So if you can do that right there, it's a good surface to work with. Either glass or plastic works out really well. And if you can't get it all the way off, just use rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol releases hot melt glue instantaneously. Okay, so the last part of this is you can use the same wires over and over again. Um, this is one of the wires that came off the old bags and how you get them off is you just dip it in really hot water and it will release the wires. Then you just straighten them back out. So these are 10 gauge copper and it looks like this one's a little bit longer than that one and it doesn't really matter but this is what I do with them do it like that and then you get Another glue stick. Go.
and just hog down over the top of them, just like that. Now let that dry, I'm going to probably cut these a little shorter, right about here. So what you do, you stick them in your tank and then you custom fold them to whatever tank that you have. And of course this whole thing is dynamic, I mean you can cut longer ones, longer wires, shorter wires, whatever you need for your tank. But pretty inexpensive to make, um, I have enough material to probably make enough bags for a few years. Um, and again, you'll notice that they are going bad when the brown starts appearing at the very bottom. You get a lot of brown. The 5 micron should be enough. Uh, I've tried 1 micron again, and it's, it's just not good enough for it. But the 5 micron should hold it back quite well. Cool. So that is making anode bags. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed Also, I'll add that that metal is totally optional. Like, you could just clip them to the side, and you can see, no problem. Alright, so that's anode bags. Pretty fun little project. So, clips, or other clips, doesn't matter. I will say, I like the clips a little bit better because sometimes when it comes to the heat of battle and you're trying to push more anode down into it, um, it's a little easier. But yeah, other than that, this kind of feels a little bit more compact up against the side. And of course, you can make them as long as you want for all kinds of different tanks. Sweet. So I hope you enjoyed anode bag making.